So now the talk is all about when's uh, Bernie so going to drop out. So that was the thing during his speech. People are like, oh, is he going to say stopping campaign? What's he going to do? Where does he go from here? What is he? Right. I mean, um, so maybe he should just forget about trying to get money out of politics. Maybe he should just stop now trying to get health care for everyone like the rest of the industrialized world. Maybe he just maybe he should stop trying to uh, get affordable education, free college tuition for everybody in America. He maybe he should stop trying to invest in America now because, you know, Hillary Clinton and everything. So we were all waiting and uh, Jack Uger and I bet. He said he thought he wasn't going to. He was going to say he was suspending his campaign. He said, you want to bet $20? I said, 100 just like that. I said, 100 And, uh, well, I'm going to play for you what happened when Bernie Sanders, uh, what he said about dropping out or going to the convention. And here is, I'm, we're in the corner. I'm going to back up. You're going to see. You're going to see me. And this is, her, this is me. It's out. Environmental justice to Philadelphia. Yeah! Okay, so I uh, a lot of people were saying you freaked out on that. I might have, but that was a good freak out in a good way. It wasn't a freak out in a bad way. When I tell people don't freak out, I mean don't freak out in a bad way. That's a good freak out. That's a, that's a freak on. I'm freaking on. <laughs> yes. I'm not freaking out. I'm freaking in. I'm freaking into the situation. I'm not freaking out of it. So that was fantastic. So that's Bernie Sanders, man. That's him. Just it's, I love that guy. He's that no that what that's what that means. This isn't over. No matter what happens, this isn't over. This is about now. And by the way, Bernie Sanders is the future of the Democratic Party, and Hillary Clinton is the past. It's its history. Everybody, all the the everybody going forward, they're done. This is it. This was the last squeaker. Look what you did. Look what it took. A a, a seventy four year old bald headed Jewish guy with a thick accent and very little modern day television skills came from z sixty points back against the most powerful political machine in frickin' ever, and he got forty six percent of the pledge delegates. He ah. Uh, he is shaking it up, which is why they've they've freaked out so much, pushed back so hard against them. While they're still while they're still still condescending to Bernie supporters and to Bernie, still smearing him. We're gonna do more videos about it today, about how they're still Politico and CNN, how they're still smearing him. It, it, it's amazing. So that's why I jumped up and down like that. It's inspiring. It's nice to have someone in politics. Who's not in it for himself, even though Nate Silver doesn't get that. Nate Silver says Bernie Sanders is going to try and save face. This is about his face. This is about his ideals and what he wants to get accomplished. This is his, this is the, his entire life. He's not just going to stop. So that's why I did that. And it feels good. It feels good to have a politician you can believe in. You know Hillary Clinton's going to find a way to flip on the TPP as soon as she's in office. We have to hold our breath and cross our fingers that she's going to nominate a Supreme Court justice that's actually against Citizens United because Barack Obama did it. So uh, that's why it's easy to jump up and down like that for me because that, that doesn't come along very often. And that's what he was saying when he said we're going to the convention. That means we're, this isn't over. This is about our country. This is about these our necessary changes that we need. And I'm not stopping. He's not stopping. And I'm, I say, you know what? It's about time that we had a Tea Party on the left. But it's the opposite, right? We try to get money out of politics. We try to return the, the party to the people. And I think Bernie said with every primary... He's laid down the template. He's shown these these people that they're chumps. You don't have to take their money, but they do want to take their money because most politicians get in it for ego. 
They do want to. They want to. They, they want to be in a position of power. They want to be hanging out with moneyed people. They want money. <laughs> so that's why that was easy to do. That was real easy. Ah, oh, it felt good. Felt good. It's not over. 